cause I'm icy, wifey. Haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a white screen. As you're just landing with your box, just start to plan what you're buying and what you're not. Because yeah, honestly, yeah. it goes by like this. guys welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and i'm a london based content creator on today's video we have somi yeah she's the same lady from the old poly video which you guys really love <laughs> hello everyone i'm somi i am a nurse here in the uk working with the nhs um yeah so i actually found her story very interesting i thought to share with you guys because you guys are always asking me how do you come to do uk kili masters i always tell you guys everything is online but to be honest her story is really peculiar and i found it to be one of resilience as well it's going to be a two-part video on this part of the video we're just talking about how she came to do her masters initially and then on the second part we'll just talk about you know nursing precisely so um somi came in 2017 right 2018 2018 to the uk to do her masters and then she decided to do her masters in public health right mm -hmm. it's why did you choose public health <laughs> um i did a bsc in microbiology okay yeah okay so like well, you know how nigeria, nigeria? yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so you know how nigeria is basically you want to go into health you want to do like nursing or medicine and then yeah obviously jambu jambi <laughs> jambu jambi <laughs> So uh, jam is an exam we take before we go into uni joint oh, admission yeah. matriculation board exam yeah oh yeah can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember again. but yeah so that's how we ended up in microbiology and then okay. you know i did that after four years of doing that okay I wait you wanted to read doc you wanted to read, read medicine yeah actually okay, okay, yeah okay. initially so um but I ended up in microbiology so after yeah. that i came out of school and to be honest, I was just, I was like, you know what, okay, let's get a job. You know how Nigeria is typically. Yeah. So I got the job and I got bored, to be honest. Like, okay, I liked the doing? job. I was doing like a procurement role. I was like a business development. Oh, so it wasn't even in health. No, it wasn't health related at all. Okay. You know, so that's what I was doing. And then I got bored and I wanted to go back to health. Okay. You know, so I decided to come do public health. You know, awesome. and I wanted to do the basically do like the NGOs because I've done like little bits of outreaches right. here and there, okay. You know, like basically from my village and stuff because okay. most of my family members are like doctors and nurses, oh, bless. so they usually like come back and we all do outreaches, help people, okay. in the, you know. Yeah. So I, I have uh, a sneak peek of what it yes, feels yeah. like. So I wanted to like go back and do like NGO kind of thing, okay. So that was why I tried to do public health. Right. So yeah, mm -hmm. keep looking at you. <laughs> so um, that's how I started. I came. I applied. Got public health. Came here at the university. Or... How was the application process to get your masters? Oh, um, admission. it was it was pretty the easy to be. One. Yeah, very okay, so you straightforward. Applied to the school. Got your cards. Exactly. Applied for your visa. Came here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So oh god, I just remembered. <laughs> so I applied to the school. The school gave me admission. Okay. And uh, they gave me cards. So when I apply for my visa, usually you just apply for your visa and then you that's it. Country. After like two weeks or whatever, yeah. they just call you to come and take your or like email you or whatever. Yeah. And then I got an email from them saying, oh, that they need to give me a call. Um, They need to understand, I need to justify why I, why I chose the university. I chose. So basically I got admission in three schools okay. and then I picked one. Okay. So I picked that one because it had like placement and I wanted to have experience of doing like the outreach kind of thing which is what i thought initially is it or not being what it was yeah but that's what i thought so um so they called you so they called me from the embassy and said they needed to speak or rather emailed me and said they needed to speak to me and this is something that doesn't Does really happen yeah, like, they just give you, you yeah, yeah you know so ha huh, i panicked a bit i was like uh -uh, what's all this why anyway they called why me you? why me you? <laughs> you? Try you? so tell me why me <laughs> So anyway, they called me and it was it was fine. They were just they just wanted to confirm, you know, why I was why doing that. So they were asking me, so why that school? You got insurance in some other schools. Why did you pick that one? How did like, you know you got one, that school? One hour because they asked me. Oh, one straight hour of drilling me. So you needed. Yes. I had I had to know all my modules that exactly. I was going to do. I had to know like you know the reason. I had to. They were asking me if I was going to come back. And that who was sponsoring me to go at the minute, yeah, you yeah, know, that, so, that's an important question, yeah, yeah, which they already even asked me, to, you know, so <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, 
But yeah, they were they were like, Oh, do you know anything? What in particular do you do Northampton? Do you know anything about Northampton in general? Like what are they known for? I'm not even joking. Okay, I was gonna ask what school was this almighty school that Oh yeah, University, University of Northampton, no, it wasn't okay. even it's not even like so anyway they were like, Why what do you mean to Northampton in general? Oh. Long story short, Sha, when I finished the drilling for like one hour, um they now said they would get back to so I got an email like Two days later, I think that was on a Friday, so I got me on Monday. Monday. Okay. Yeah, to say, oh yeah, your your visa is ready, come and pick it up. In Nigeria, so many things there are so many things you congratulate each other for. You get visa, congrats. Like yes, so, just uh, it's too real, man. Yeah, it's just yeah. Too real. So you came to Northampton. How was your one year? Was it one year? Yeah, it was masters? one year. What was the masters in? Public health. Public health. Okay, yeah, yeah we said that. Yeah. So how was it? How was the journey? Just so it was good, but it just went by quickly so, so you need fast. to know what oh you God. want to do with yourself you need to as your know. entry see as, <laughs> not, as you're just learning with your box just start to plan what you're doing and what you're not doing. Yes. because honestly yeah. it goes by like this you know okay. and for me to be honest i was looking at the ngo ngo so were you and, applying so i started when to apply. Start applying so i started to apply so i came in september and around may june july summertime yeah. i was already applying okay right so i started applying and that was when i realized that first of all and then at that time now i've done the placement in quote that drew me to northampton yeah. and it wasn't what i thought mm -hmm. basically we're going to like british health foundation and stuff to just do um what they call it like help them do charity stuff i'm not joking <laughs> <laughs> He's not we were literally but <laughs> and he was willing to oh my oh my days when you were using medical students oh goodness me i was pissed ah, Nigeria, help us. Uh, anyway <laughs> so that does not even count as shit that counts as what do you understand like that's nothing <laughs> that's how I, I said i said okay i don't know maybe public health. i said looking for the public health jobs, jobs. and then first of all is that once you apply they need you to have experience. You don't have it. They don't have any experience, which was why I wanted to do the placement. So it was like to help you as experience. It was the but one you did in Nigeria. Do you get? Just... And if you know the Nigerian one self doesn't really count, to be honest. Yeah, if yeah. you don't have the experience, because yeah, can... the, the culture, the lifestyle here, and the way they do their own like outreach and stuff, it's slightly it's, it's different, to be honest. So if you don't have it here, just just find it. That's just what I would say. Okay, so you struggled with getting. I just struggled. Did get you get any job, job eventually? Actually, again? I didn't. Right, and how long was this after your um, master's? So my master's hasn't finished. So you know okay. how your visa is. I was looking for a job while still while doing my public yeah, health. Yeah. yeah, but obviously you go for interviews and you tell them that oh, you're you're due to um finish, finish or know. qualify in such a time like yeah. in October and stuff. So, like it took uh, from that time I looked for job till I graduated and mm -hmm. I didn't find any job. And that okay. was when like just before I graduated I started thinking. So if what all next? of them yeah what okay. next to do? So if all of them are not and besides I was doing like um a uh, care related kind of job okay. as a student okay. you know to just supplement so yeah. yeah. So while doing that I was just mm, I was like okay okay like I I I did like nursing but the thing is for you to do nursing most people believe that you have to go back to do that BSC, really, yeah. do you get me? But I already have a BSc, and they will not take you. Most universities will not take you to do BSc because they believe there is no progression. That home office won't give you visa yeah. because I've already come to do my masters. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can't do masters and then go back again to do BSc. Yeah. That's 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 the pro that was a problem. Mm -hmm. And then randomly, I just stumbled into um just on Google, guys. Google just has everything to be honest. To be honest. Yeah. Just check everything you need. I stumbled Updated. into it was mm -hmm. too. I stumbled into like. A course called pre-registration like there is msc nursing normal for people that are already nurses and want to just you know yeah. buff up their skills but um buff up their knowledge rather but pre-registration is for people that are not nurses before and then you can come and do it and it's even short in two years let's say you have like a medical related course already that you yeah. did in bsc you can just come do the msc uh for two years yeah and you qualify and become a nurse like you get a pain and everything like just like bsc okay you know so at this point i just want to say we're going to end this video now because obviously you've told us how you got your master's in um, public health and then the struggle really yeah. the reality of things mm -hmm. at that point was there psw post-study work visa did you guys no, have no, 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 okay have so right now we have post-study work visa so your story might be different but what she has said is the real truth when you're coming to this country have options i'm not going to be telling you options to have but just have options because this way they don't want to keep you mm -hmm. they really need you to spend that time three of all your mates are going to be spending and then tell you bye <laughs> so make sure as your entry getting them start to st study have your options so thank you so me so much for this obviously part two is going to come right now thank you guys for watching see you on the next episode Bye bye, bye.